Okay, welcome to Island Girl Tarot and welcome Gemini to your October 2016 General Tarot reading with Island Girl. I'm so glad you guys have found my channel and your likes, shares, and subscribes. I love all of your comments. Thank you so much for your interaction and all of my contact information is in the show more section. If you would like to get in touch with me for a private reading. I'm also going to begin uploading, once I can figure out how to do it, uh, on astrojar.com. And I believe that's going to be a site all of us are going to enjoy. It's a site where if you're a Capricorn, you are a Gemini, you click on the Gemini tab, and then all of the readers in YouTube land that have wanted to upload their videos will be there for you. So no more searching as much. Um, and with that said, let's get right to October 2016. For Gemini, I'm using the Witch's Tarot deck today, just so you know. So Gemini, 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 October 2016. Spirit. Say for Gemini, October 2016. That's good. Gemini, 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 Gemini. 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 Very nice, Gemini. Whoa. This is, uh, oh, this is a great reading. Okay, hang on. Um, good night. All right, well, Gemini, good Lord. Okay, there's no, this is work. I mean, this is money. This is wealth. This is, this is, this is not anything but work. Um, the center of the reading is the Eight of Pentacles, which we all know is a card of, uh, mastery it, it's you know for me in a love reading it's my again and again and again in other words if somebody this card comes up in a love reading for me I know that this has been an on again off again relationship obviously in this reading with as many other pinnacles that I'll get into that I have this and this is the center this is the anchor uh, this is all about you mastering your profession mastering your day-to-day -day, uh, activities and your you know what you bring in in distribute to the world and in your contribution I mean but this is definitely a great card especially as the center card interestingly enough we start off with the five of Pentacles but it's reversed and in this case I think the five of Pentacles reversed is saying that the lack of money uh, the lack of everything that you've had a lack of is that's now starting to uh, loosen up and you're, and you're beginning to get some more abundance and I say that because it is sitting right next to two sixes uh, we've got the six of wands and the six of cups and what I honestly think has happened is that somebody has uh, you guys have gotten uh, gone to work or taken a job with somebody that you used to know or somebody you used to work with it was an unexpected happening it was something that came out of left field because the tower is here but it certainly brought you a lot more money because here you are as the Nine of Pentacles, Gemini. I mean, you guys are in a great situation. This was something that came out unexpectedly. Gemini, here you are. I said not with the Nine of Pentacles necessarily. I meant there you are making more money, uh, having more income. You're here as the King of Swords, Gemini, and um, right underneath with the Queen of Pentacles. So everything that has happened to you or is going to happen is going to be very, very beneficial to you and your family this month. The Ten of Pentacles is in here. I mean, how many Pentacle cards is that now? One, two, three, four, five out of a nine card spread. Um, so it, this is definitely, definitely money oriented. Uh, this new job, this new wealth is what I almost want to say this new money income and stream is going to help you uh, secure your family's financial foundation It's going to help you establish a legacy you're definitely going to be able um, you know to, to sit and, and feel like you're in charge of your surroundings your environment you're going to be able to take care of your family feel like you can take care of your family and have a little bit of money left over I don't you know like I said typically the five of Pentacles for me comes up as a uh, unexpected bill card 
And in this case, I don't even see it as that. And if it, you do have any unexpected bills, you're, you're quite well where you can take care of them right now. Um, as I said, I think this is a loosening up and this is all of a sudden the money's going to start flowing as opposed to being uh, not there at all. And again, like I said, the only questionable card is the tower, but I think it was just it was just the unexpected event or that's going to happen if it hasn't already that is going to allow for this influx of money and for you literally to be able to show off your talents and to showcase you and what you do and, and how you're going to be able um, to increase not only the value that you bring to you and your family but to whatever company that you're working for because Gemini you are a very valuable employee you are one of the you know sharpest brightest uh, smartest guys and girls you know in the whole room typically uh, you're always at the top of your game so like I said if you guys have experienced either a loss of a job or a downsizing or you know underemployment I just really feel like some, and what I honestly feel like is you may run into somebody that you used to work with or somebody that you used to even know as a kid from your childhood that is either going to give you a great idea or, or somehow just inspire you to do what it is that you need to do to make the money that you need to make to get your family to where they need to be, which, I mean, these two cards are right here together. I mean, the Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. I mean, that's just, that's abundance, that's love, that's family, that's wealth, that's sharing. Um, it's being in charge and in complete and total control of, of all of your finances. Um, I didn't look at first, but the bottom of the deck was the Knight of Swords, and that tells me uh, this is that's an action card. So anything if nothing has happened yet, it will happen. It is coming in So Jim and I I hope this resonates like I said, there's no other way to read this reading there There's no love in it um, It is it is strictly about moving on up and in being recognized for your talents and your determination and great job so uh, I appreciate y'all so much, Jim and I. I hope you have a great October, and I look forward to seeing you guys back here every day for the Daily Draw at Island Girl Tarot, and then also look for your uh, October love readings, and I'm going to do another strictly financial reading, but maybe that's where your love comes out. I don't know. Check your uh, moon sign and your rising sign, though, too, also to uh, help with rounding this out. Like I said, this was just strictly a... This was a monetarily work-related um, uh, reading today. So take care, Gemini. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.